what's up everybody welcome back to marks rc thanks for stopping by the channel oh yeah i've got the uh green machine back at the quarry again did not realize that it had been since i think june 19th that the last video of this got posted so i try and keep obviously you know certain ones in rotation so figured it was time to get this one back out and get it run which i did this morning it's fairly warm it was like 90 degrees and like 85 percent humidity it was ridiculous outside just sweat just pouring off of me so anyway yeah um i kind of checked out a spot of the mine that i don't normally go to um a little bit deeper back and so these boulders uh kind of line along the whole side of it and uh this one in particular is kind of like got some really smooth kind of almost shiny surfaces on it and then you see where it's kind of like flaked out and you think that it would have a little bit of traction but it all just depends on which way you're going um so like in this situation this this rubber compound doesn't really seem to kind of lock up on it um it does eventually but it kind of takes uh takes a couple tries And I feel like that was probably more of a bunny hop next to the to the upper level to get get it there. And this is the same same rock. It's just it's around the other side of it, a little bit steeper. But you can sort of see how shiny it is. And it's just ancient volcanic schist. And if you if this stuff's wet, you'll never climb it. So if it's dry like this, it just kind of sits and spins until you know rubber kind of heats up, and then it sort of bites onto it. I figure I'd take this route to a spot that I haven't been to for a couple years at this place because they really are fairly actively filling this in and I'm not exactly sure how soon it's going to be filled but I figured I would go and check this one spot out before it's not an option any longer and that'll be uh, a video or two away from this one so this one kind of consists of maybe about half or half a dozen or so of these little crawls at the start and then uh, i head over to that that section that i'm talking about and uh, start getting into a little bit more stuff so uh, there's some good crawling in this video as far as i'm concerned good wpl crawling I've been looking for some ledge for a while just to have some nice consistent surface to work on and I'm constantly like on just loose dirt or loose rocks or something like that I really very rarely find you know nice good long consistent crawl surfaces the steepest rock and it's definitely just got a couple of cool little spots on it that make for some nice video it gets a little steeper at the top
few weeks ago I decided to weather these axles a little bit and make it so they didn't look quite so shiny and minty fresh and new and however subtle it is you can sort of see it there and I did it to both the front and the rear and I think it kind of helped a little bit they were pretty shiny a little too blingy So here we go. I'm moved back into this further section into the mine here. And of the two or three videos that I will have to post of this, um, you'll see in one video that I end up all the way in the spot very far upper right that's above all of what you're looking at right now, kind of where the blue sky's at. Uh, I end up right at where that tall rock is jutting up right there. Um, you wouldn't believe how small you are compared to where I'm standing right there. But um, anyway, I end up all at, end up over at that spot. Um, so stay tuned. I've got some, I think, some pretty decent crawling coming up in this one. So, but a nice day at the mine, must say. Decided to uh, check out a spot that I haven't been to for at least a year and a half, I'd say. I used to take the Red Cats back here when I first had both of them. Uh, I would bring the Gen 7 on a day or two and then bring the Gen 8 back in this, this spot. Gen 7 probably did the best out of everything just because. And I've never brought any of the WPLs back into this this area back here, but decided to for for all it was worth. So this section coming up is a little bit of a hill climb after this kind of semi-flat spot. I call it a flat spot. But anyway, um, there's a hill climb coming up that all credit is owed to the 370 motor that sits in this thing. And that came out of the RGT 13161 uh, 16-scale crawler. That, as far as I was concerned, the motor made that particular crawler virtually useless because it was just way too fast. Uh, you couldn't get any kind of low speed control with it at all or anything and so um, I struggled with running that truck and having any kind of fun with it so I decided at some point to start parting it out to other other crawlers uh, namely this one and I'm not even going to try and rack my brain to figure out what other parts went where anyway the motor and gearbox went into this and then got hitched up to the single speed um, and I ran Dumbo, Dumbo RC electronics on it for a while, and that was fine. I had to get really good about low speed control uh, on the throttle. However, I switched over to Fly Sky uh, with this truck and now have an amazing full range on the throttle and um, all the way at full pull on the, on the trigger, then do you finally bring things up to around 80 to 90 percent? Um, and then you can bury it at at a hundred, you know, with the full, you know, backed all the way down. Um, and you'll see what it does here, basically. But long story short, you have just incredible modulation over this motor to be able to use it in its incredibly low speed capability, like it is right now, versus what you're about to see. Um, and so I don't know how they did it with this particular motor and why it ends up working as well as what it does. But um, that, I, like I said, this whole this whole section coming up, I just all the credit is owed to to that motor. So have fun watching, watch the dirt get thrown around here.
little wheel speed never hurt. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to wrap this one up here pretty quick. Uh, like I said, I got a couple more coming, so stick around.